Hi, Magnificent Souls. Okay, so this is going to be your bonus reading, and this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. So Geminis and Cross Watchers, um, you guys had the most views. Thank you so much. I wanted to get this out earlier to you guys, but, you know, with everything going on, um, it was very difficult for me to get videos out, but I wanted to still get your bonus out nonetheless because you guys, like I said, supported the channel. You guys had over 7,000 views on your video for the month of June. So you guys get a bonus. Let's see what Spirit wants to say. Of course, we're at the end of the month, so this is going to kind of give you insight on what's up, um, what's coming next, okay? Upcoming energies for July and beyond July, okay? This is general, and I will extend this for you guys if you would like to have a more in-depth um, reading that feels personal. Um, the extended link will be down below in the description box. Thank you guys again for all the support, the um, encouragement, comments, donations. You guys are um, you guys were awesome this month. And um, what I'm going to start doing is the people that get the most views will get their readings out first for the following month. So Spirit is saying that there is um, healing that needs to take place, okay? Or will there will be some sort of healing taking place here with the Healer of the Ages um, in the upcoming weeks, okay? So we have the World Card in reverse, Patience in reverse in the Fifth Chakra. So there's some sort of communication that needs to come up, um, come out, whether it be from you or from somebody else, this is long overdue is what I'm hearing. Long overdue. You've been really waiting on some sort of communication or at least some sort of truth. Okay. This could also be you going through a process of realizing some sort of truth and you realizing that you need to speak up. Um, okay. Because the third chakra is implying that there is a block in the com communication or there's a shutdown in communication. You may have shut down or somebody around you may have shut down due to some sort of circumstance, and it has to do with this inability to um, open up. So you could be dealing with you. Again, with the patient's card being in reverse, I feel like something is long overdue. Maybe there is a need for something to end with the world card or someone to expand their horizons in regards to um, making moves for the future. This could be someone wanting to make an, uh, to end something or someone wanting to begin something new, but they don't really know where to start. There could be some sort of travel plans that may be delayed. I do feel like someone needs to really open up or see that there are other possibilities or opportunities in front of them in regard in regards to those circumstances that you're going through. So let's see. The world card in reverse. Growth. Um, I'm feeling a lot of law, a lot of water energy here. So summertime is going to be of significance. As you know, we just started summer. So this is very significant. And there's a need for closure of something. So something needs to close out. And I'm feeling a lot of water. So there is some sort of um, a need for like a vacation for some of you guys. Some of you guys are contemplating a vacation, get a getaway. Some of you guys have been going by water or need to go by water in order for you to kind of um, reflect on the past, on what you've experienced thus far. Um, there has been some sort of growth that has been take, taking place, a growth process, a processing of an experience. And it has to do with something in your past that has brought on a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, something very uncomfortable. You may feel a lack of growth. You may feel like things are not growing in a particular area of your life. You feel very detached or you're wanting to detach from something, okay? Or you feel like someone has detached from you. Again, this energy of lack, this energy of doubting whether you can complete something or accomplish something. Because the world card, you know, for me signifies accomplishing or being able to take on the world, being ready, um, And I'm also seeing how you're showing up in life. Like you're not very happy where you're at. And this is an opportunity for you to, to do some self-reflection, reassess, and really look at what you need in order to move forward. Now, Spirit says it's time for you to let go of 
perfectionism. Okay. And it says, you'll never get ahead if you don't overcome your fear of failure. But yeah. Someone here has some sort of goal in mind or wants to accomplish something or something didn't work out the way you wanted to. And it's kind of creating this energy of lack. Like you feel like you're not um, where you want to be. You're lacking something, but you don't have all the tools you need to progress forward. It says progress is not perfect perfection. Okay. It also says here, you are enough and have what it takes to improve your circumstance, your finances, this relationship, whatever this is, you do have what it takes, but you're just kind of looking at your, your current circumstance and you're kind of weighing your options, but still feeling very inadequate. Now, and when it comes to love, this is you having a hard time detaching or ending a cycle where with someone that you've had a lot of experiences with, someone that has really put you through the ringer emotionally, or you just had some really tough experiences when it came to love. You feel like you have grown a little bit, but you're again, you're not seeing the progress you want or you're not seeing a growth in a situation. You could be dealing with someone that's very emotionally detached. I feel like you could be in a process of you, you know, being in, shut down, like you're shutting down and not really wanting to interact or um, deal with a situation anymore because you are experiencing um, some sort of truth or you're not getting enough truth from this person or the circumstance. Let's see who this might be. Can we clarify truth for Gemini? Yeah, see? Either you kind of realize the truth here that the situation is one-sided that you're putting in your time and effort into something and you're not really seeing the growth. You planted seeds, you put in effort and the harvest, you know, what came out, what, what, what did you receive? You're, you're dissatisfied with it. Um, you feel like there's too many obstacles here and this could be someone you're connecting to. Someone here has to face the truth that there's something that needs to close out, something that needs to um, die out or uh, end because it's just not working anymore. And it could just be a mindset. It could be someone here needing to come out of denial Someone here is afraid that something's not going to work or there's a fear of failure when it comes to transitioning into a new phase or into a new situation, relationship, job, um, or even just a, just making a, a, a big decision that is going to impact your life. And this could be moving. OK, this could even just be make, making a, a huge move, like leaving family behind or leaving a relationship. OK. So patience, spirit, give me some energy on patience. This is, and yeah, a lot of you guys were disappointed in a relationship. And again, this timeout energy, this detachment that you're going through, this is to kind of clear out the energy and it's a space brings clarity. I do feel like there is this inner period of time where you're wanting space or someone's saying, I need some space. I need some time to collect my thoughts. I need some time to figure out what it is I want or how I'm going to move forward, or this is happening outside of you. And you're not, you're not aware of this, but you are kind of in this energy of impatience. Spirit is saying that there's a little bit of a timeout, but this is important because whatever you've experienced, whatever um, suffering or abandonment you've experienced in your past, you need to heal from it. Because, you know, sometimes I look at the detachment, detachment card as feeling abandoned, feeling left out. So you could be feeling abandoned, left out, or you could feel a lack in your life, dissatisfied with where you're at in your life. Some of you guys, this has to do with a partnership. You're waiting on the type of partnership that will bring in stability for you and not necessarily um, financially, but just make, you know, a relationship that's not full of, of obstacles. Because I feel like you have had an experience with someone where it just, it always seemed like you were the one doing all the work. And you don't really see the fruits of your labor. Like, it's like you're putting in on the work. You're trying really hard to be this, have this perfect relationship. And I think that that was what, what the problem was, was this, there was this ideal. Okay. You could be, an, I, you could have been an idealist where you were, you had this idea in your mind of what you expected, the expectation of something 
was so strong. And when it didn't happen the way you expected it to, it really kind of disappointed you. And, and now you're kind of not sure if you can really see yourself having the type of relationship you deserve. And Spirit wants you to take some time out to really see your truth, to really figure out what your truth is. Like, what do you, what is it that you want out of a relationship or out of your situation? Like, if, if it's a career path, what is it that you want to accomplish? What will actually make you happy, Gemini? We have destiny. We have here that it says, believing your dreams and passions, it's, it is your calling to follow them. And then it says, whatever led you to this point in your life, it was, a, it was to direct you to your higher purpose. Whatever this was that brought you to this point where you are standing here trying to figure out your next step. Now, it's in reverse because, you know, there is something here kind of standing in your way or there's a lack of direction because you are still kind of clinging on to past experiences. But Spirit says, New exciting adventures await you. Don't look back. Only look to the future. So if something didn't work out in the past, this is your opportunity to really embark on a new journey, a new adventure, really taking a, a leap of faith and moving forward with um, the knowledge, right, of what happened and how you can move differently, how you can do things differently. And also with, you know, a fearless attitude because of this knowledge, because you know, okay, that didn't work out. Okay. This relationship didn't bring me fulfillment. This partnership didn't make, you know, didn't um, add to my life or it didn't help me grow. So there's some sort of experience that's really pushing you to really leveling up when it comes to your expectations, um, not expecting too much externally, but really just focusing on your inner growth and your inner truth. I think that you were dependent on other people to meet an expectation for you, to bring in some sort of happiness or fulfillment. And you're understanding now that that's that the, the type of fulfillment you're seeking can only come from within. And there's a new inspiring um, journey uh, ahead of you, it, but it requires you to really clear um up some of the baggage that you've been holding on to from the past. It's time for you to um, release attachments to the past, okay? Because this is why this is here. It's time for you to release um, these attachments that no longer serve you. And then health is here because spirit is wanting you to know that um, your health is improving either physically, your physical health, mental or emotional health, or some situation that needed a resolution will be resolved and healed. And it says, um, it says it's time to replenish your energy and fully energized to prepare for what's next. And this is why Spirit is saying it's a time, it's a, it's time for a timeout. Be patient with yourself so that you can um, really, yeah. See, we have unethical impatience. Be patient with yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Okay, it says divine timing is at hand, and it will require having faith while you are shown the way. So you don't really know what's ahead of you, but spirit is wanting you to have faith and just to really trust. And it says here, you may feel tired and out of balance, but the universe is forcing you to rest and recover. Yeah. It looks like you were dealing with someone unethical. There was some sort of unethical behavior that led to some serious consequence. So if it was you that was being unethical, um, you, you, it led to something that you were working on to end. It led to something that you were really focusing on to end. And it looks like it was a partnership or you were dealing with someone that was unethical, someone that was lying to you. And this is about you not sacrificing your morals anymore to make other people happy to accommodate or overcompensate for other people's shortcomings. This is not putting in a lot of effort, time and energy to, into something where there's no growth. This is like, are you making a sacrifice, letting something go, taking the time out, becoming patient and waiting on the universe to kind of guide you in a better direction, right? There could be something better for you. The problem is you're very unclear and that's really preventing you from moving forward in the way you want. But remember the overall message here is that there will be healing, okay? 
And but it's going to require you to take some sort of uncomfortable action um, in, in order for you to move forward, in order for you to be at your best, to be prepared for something new. It may require you to release unrequited love or unrequited love attachment to someone or let go of the heartbreak or pain associated with an ending a, a very significant relationship, or maybe just ending a relationship where you and somebody are disconnected, where the relationship is no longer growing because you have reached, um, you have come full circle with that particular experience, okay? But the lack of clarity is what's preventing the forward movement. You don't even see the blessing that is in, there's a blessing in disguise here. And it says the answers you're seeking will remain unclear for now. There is something that the universe wants to give, give you, or there could be someone that you have been waiting on that wants to come in, but they're going through their own process of ending something that, uh, that they've had a trouble ending, it feels like. I just want to tap into that. If this is in regards to someone else, how is that affecting this connection? If Can we get some energy on the other person? We have hidden desires and hidden intentions. We have that there is passion and desire still alive, but this person is keeping that to themselves. Or there is some sort of hidden information here, secrecy. What does that look like? for Gemini's for their bonus. And this is moving into the, the July and maybe into August because we're talking about the summer. Can we clarify hidden intent? We have the page of wands in the, yeah, someone wants a new start. Page of wands, four of wands, we have Aries, Sag, Leo. Someone is really thinking about doing something. This could be some sort of information that you're waiting on in regards to a four of wands is something stable this could be a reunion of some sorts. This could be in, in, involving family. Um, it kind of feels like you are anticipating good news or you want um, more excitement in your life. You want a new fresh start, clean slate, or this person does. But there is some sort of overthinking here. There's somebody feeling a little bit trapped and when it comes to making a decision. So you could be dealing with someone that is already connected in another partnership and they're needing um, inspiration. They're needing some sort of a push. I'm hearing gumption. They need gumption. They need to be fearless to embark on this new journey with you. There could be a secret relationship. You could be uh, someone's mistress or mister. You could be, you know, in a third party situation. Or there's this hidden desire to do something, but someone doesn't feel like they can do it. This decision is going to affect other people. There could be a, a structure here. Can we get one more card on page of wands in the ninth? I'm sorry, the four of wands page in the four. We have a conflict here. Someone's conflicted about forward movement, about this fresh new start. I typically look at the page of wands as some sort of courage to do something. Yeah, six of wands, lots of wands. So this is why action is very important. We have, someone needs to get clear, Seven of Cups, they have a lot of options in front of them. Uh, they're weighing up their options or they're so searching in order to find the answer. They need clarity, they need the, the truth. Okay, someone needs to make sure that this is their truth, that they're gonna make a decision that is based off of truth and not based off of an assumption they want to come from a place where they're completely clear before they make this decision. And there's clarity coming in. Um, and that is going to lead someone to take some sort of action because we have all these wand cards here. Um, someone here has to get past some sort of emotional um, experience or something emotionally is preventing this person from movement, And it has to do with facing the truth. Someone needs to face the truth head on. Some sort of truth is being revealed about somebody's actions. Seven of Swords, someone could be deceptive, or this is someone needing to stop avoiding what they know is the truth. And what this person knows is that they need to make a decision and they need to take action. Page of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands for movement in order to have success. This could be initiating, um, building a foundation, reuniting, starting fresh, building a foundation back up, okay, putting in the effort to. Um, move forward into a new um, paradigm, 
Okay, and there, there's a shift taking place with someone here, Page of Wands. We attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Yeah, someone is shifting out of an energy so they can have a new beginning, letting go, change, time to move forward. Someone needs to take a risk. There's opportunities. They need to move, move. It's, there's a time is of the essence here. Four of Wands. Can we get a clarifier on Four of Wands? Trust. A need to trust in a divine plan regardless of the external. And then we have soul imprints. Some of you guys, this is about moving uh, moving forward and leaving behind an experience that really kept you feeling trapped and bounded. An experience that made you feel limited, made you feel small, or made you feel like you could not accomplish or have something. And the universe wants you to know that these unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, or inheritances are affecting this situation. And this could be somebody else that needs to release something that they were emotionally attached to. Something that is causing a stalemate in one or both of your lives. A stalemate situation because someone needs to take decisive action. Again, there's that reference to action again. And, and, and it has something to do with healing something. Either you need to heal or, or part of your healing requires you to just move forward, to trust that things will work out in your favor, to trust that things will, uh, this movement forward, this decision to detach from something, an old, um, it's almost like for some of you guys, this is just some sort of old experience that has been keeping you bounded. Like, you know, you've gotten hurt, you've gotten rejected or someone disappointed you or you had a really tough life, uh, childhood. There's something here that you need to release. Um, with the Page of Wands, I'm feeling like you need to really push yourself and get excited and to be very um, optimistic about your forward movement. This is a time for you to liberate yourself and to really find the joy in your life, to really, you know, there's joy and harmony that can come with making this decision, whether this be finally releasing the past, making peace with what happened, and moving forward or leaving behind a relationship to go towards something, another relationship, another person that you really want to be with. Six of Wands. Lessons of Jupiter, a line. Yeah, and the Six of Wands is a Jupiter card. I believe this is uh, Leo, Jupiter and Leo. Um, it says a line and demonstrate and express the values and beliefs you've learned about love. Be open to new ways. The results are healing and expans expansion. You're expanding your horizons. You're coming out of this energy of feeling lack, feeling a lack of, of love, a lack of success, a lack of um, reward or a lack of accomplishment. You need to come out of that and, that's, and change your story. I'm also feeling like someone wants to come back and reconnect and go back to the good old times with you. Final um, message for this particular section. Yeah, it says, I knew it. Past in the past. Don't look back. Some of you guys are being urged to just move forward and leave the past in the past. You know, you may have a desire or there could be this desire to really hold on to an experience or an expectation, you know, hoping and praying that something's going to change. But the truth is, you know that it's not going to change. And then I see that there's somebody that has been unethical, that has been, that had bad behavior, treated you less than you deserve, didn't see your worth, they didn't offer much. Now this person's having a realization, but it is because you pulled away. It's because you've made the decision to leave this behind. And now someone is now seeing what they had now that it's gone. So what we have here is truth in the upcoming weeks. Fifth shock or some sort of communication or some sort of truth. Bottom of this deck, when truth came out earlier, um, we had the energy that came out was higher self. This is also you real having, you know, realization of the truth. Like you just coming out of denial. You're not in denial anymore. Okay. This is about you not being in denial anymore. Clarify. Seeing a situation with a new pair of eyes. Okay. We have investigating. Yeah. Finding out the truth. Whatever was limiting you, making you feel limited or whatever you were fearing, 
you're not see, you're not fearing this anymore because you see you have the truth now. You have the you need to embark on something new to plant new seeds. Or something that happened in the spring that left you unsure, unclear. You're now finally getting the truth about it in the summer. What is the spy watching card? Can we get one more card on top of this energy here for the fifth chakra? There's too much distance to maintain. Yeah, some of you guys are just realizing that. A situation, you may have been trying to be patient. You may have went on a break with someone and you may have had this expectation that this was going to just be a temporary break. You guys are going to come back together. Things are going to work out. But there's this energy here of you facing the truth, realizing, okay, you know what? Maybe it's best that I accept that this is over. That's for some of you guys, or this could be for someone you're connecting to. Um, cause I keep seeing that someone, you know, there's, you know, waiting on someone to make a decision, waiting on someone to man up, waiting on someone to, um, decide to choose. And you're just tired of waiting. Can we clarify watching spy watching, investigating? I feel like you, um, some of you guys are finding out something about someone or someone's finding out something through spying, through investigating. Can we clarify that? What's, what's being found out? What's being shown? Your emotions are affecting this situation. You're paying too much attention to somebody else. I see that someone is watching you, paying attention to you. I feel like this energy here, page one, four, one, someone could be seeing you really happy and or they see you as their happiness. They could see success with you. Someone could be watching you. Someone could be wanting to extend an offer. You may not even know that there's somebody here wanting to come in and extend an offer to you. There could be a little bit of fear of someone telling you the truth, telling you, you know, I really want, you know, to have an emotional connection with you. Someone wants to give to you with a charity card now because they didn't they didn't do so in the past. I'm also seeing some of you guys are realizing that somebody has made some sort of offer to somebody else or they're giving their time and energy to somebody else and that's why this relationship continues to remain unstable. I'm also getting to that if this is someone wanting to make an offer to you, they're afraid to come towards you because they may feel like you may deny them, reject them. Can we clarify? Yeah, four. So someone wants to come out of this time out with you, five of cups. Someone wants to apologize, but they're afraid, full card in reverse. There's unfinished business here, the world card. Um, this, yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you, but they're fear of rejection because they rejected you in the past. I'm hearing what goes around, comes around with the world card in reverse. I feel like this person had one at some point rejected you. They had some sort of victory. I'm seeing someone getting engaged even, maybe got married in the recent past. There's a lot of guilt can we clarify this? Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Page of Wands energy. This is, yeah. Uh, yeah, th there's an ending of a cycle. There was some sort of epiphany here. That, yeah, something completed. Someone is going to see something and it is going to be the confirmation you need that something's over, either for you or for somebody else. You, there's some sort of confirmation that's coming in, some sort of epiphany, that there needs to be forward movement. It's time for you to let something go because somebody here may be having their some, some sort of new beginning here. Or this is someone approaching you with this new beginning saying, hey, I would like to have a new beginning with you. And this is going to end a cycle of you feeling lack, feeling alone, feeling like you're not fulfilled or you you know your life is boring, lackluster. There could be an opportunity, some sort of opportunity presented to you. It could even be a new job, healing from heartbreak. Yeah, some of you guys, this is just, just detaching.
from something. You see what I'm saying? It's just fighting to emotionally detach, not winning, strong, you know, struggling to detach from something um, because you were heartbroken, because you had an expectation. You wanted to recon reconcile. You wanted or you you wanted to be with someone. You wanted a foundation to be built upon, uh, you know, or a structure in your relationship, some sort of stability. Maybe you were connecting with someone and wanted it to go to the next level. If you were in a relationship, like a commitment or in living in the same house with someone, there's some sort of lies that was revealed um, to you. And about this situation, about, you know, either were you just in denial, were you just kind of holding on to hope or the illusion of happiness, or this could be you finding out that somebody was, you know, cheating, lying to you the whole time. Again, this could apply to someone that you're connecting to, but in the future potential, um, with the five of cups, I do feel like you're moving forward. You're no longer crying over spilled milk. Okay, you're coming out of this energy of grieving, mourning a situation that you really wanted. Yeah, you're coming out of the dark night of the soul. And this could be someone that has had a recent ending, and now this person is realizing that they want to reconnect with you. Um, but this is going to require starting over, starting from the bottom. And this person had to go through a process of rest and recovery, or you did, in order for this restart to take place. This could be the universe saying there needed to be patience first. There needed to be healing first in order before someone could take some sort of action towards you. This is not your typical love story. The power struggle is real. Someone's struggling, though. Struggling to do what? Four swords. This is someone needing to come out of hiding, too. This could be you needing to come out of hiding. You needed to come out. Yeah, we have rejection. Someone is scared. <laughs> This masculine energy here is scared or you're fearing that this masculine could reject you again. We have external party. I'm also feeling like this masculine did betray you at some point, but it what goes around comes around. Like I said, came up with this. So if someone betrayed you and now they want to come back, um, it's because they were betrayed. They had to experience. They had to get what they put, they, they put out. Okay. Some of you guys are needing to understand that this person has betrayed you. They moved on to somebody new and it is time for you to accept. And others of you guys, this person is just afraid to come towards you because they chose somebody else that they thought they were going to have a victory with. That doesn't work out. They want to come in and make this offer, but they're fearing how you're going to react to this offer. So they're watching you. They're patiently watching you. They're trying to figure out how to earn back their trust. They want to be generous with you this time. They want to be fair with you. Yeah, the masculine does. But again, this rejection energy. Can we clarify why rejection keeps coming out with this masculine card? Can we clarify divine masculine rejection? Um, so we have some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, and other negative patterns of behavior. This masculine doesn't feel good enough to approach you um, just yet. Why is that? Some of you guys, this mask, yeah, some of you guys, this masculine made you feel like you weren't good enough because they rejected you. Some of you guys um, are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person or you could be a water sign watching for a Gemini. At some point, someone made you feel like you weren't good enough um, because they rejected you. this wound and you've been carrying around this wound. And this is why spirit is saying it's time for you to let that go. It's time for you to forgive and move forward. Others of you guys, this person is realizing that they rejected you. They chose the wrong person and they want to come in and um, make things up to you, but they're having a hard time uh, communicating their feelings because they they feel like they're not worthy of you. I feel like they regret lying. They regret the way they treated you in the past. Um, in the um, we do have someone finally getting over a situation that was very painful um, in the present moment. 
some of you guys are going to move on from a situation and there could be um, an apology, a, some closure for you, okay? Can we clarify this masculine energy? I left when I saw you with someone. It's time for me to heal. Some of you guys moved on to someone new, okay? Or they may have left you for somebody else. They are wondering if you're happy without them. So they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you to see if you're happy without them. This person feels guilty. They, they're hoping that you could forgive them for hurting you in the past. You speak to me through music. They're, they are getting signs, symbols, and synchronicity. They're saying that you came closer than anyone else. Um, but they're, it's just, just being near you is intoxicating. So there could be a little bit of um, obsession. Um, there's a little bit of codependency coming up for this connection. I look for you everywhere and I wish things could be different. So what's happening between this masculine and the, and the person watching, okay? Or if you're masculine watching, you could be kind of still kind of holding a flame for somebody that may be moving in a different direction from you. You may have a desire to heal it, but you're not sure. You're still kind of um, having a hard time revealing yourself. This energy here is very interesting to me with this water energy, with this facade. You could be holding your feelings back. Okay, male or female, you could be hiding the fact that you're still hurt over the situation, even though you're kind of still doing well in your life, moving forward, you, you could be really hurt. And this is a, a distraction. This person is saying, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I want to feel that way again. I remember. Some of you guys are somebody here that's waking up to a connection, waking up to the fact that they should have treated you better, that they took you for granted. Final message. We have red flag. Tune into the subtle energies you're receiving about the situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and your intuition. We have twin flames. Why red flag, spirit? Why are you telling them red flag? And this could just be listening to your intuition about this situation. Pay attention. Yeah. It says luck. Success will find you. Um. If someone is coming in and making an offer to you, Gemini, in the summertime, I see you being afraid of being rejected or hurt. You're, you're very guarded. Um, but your advice is to pay, listen to your intuition and let that be your guidance. I do see that you have luck on your side, and I see that your luck is about to change for the better. You're moving out of an energy of lack. You're moving into times where you are going to have... Um, better days when it comes to love relationships and just your life in general um underneath the love card here where there's some sort of caring where the caring connection card which was reversed i see door to spirit so there's an opportunity for a new beginning but it is going to require um uh, releasing an attachment with the attachments card and then for you to go ahead and take a risk in a new direction. So the luck is on your side. There's some sort of lucky break coming towards you. And this is going to bring success. Now, with that being said, the card on, at the bottom of the deck says, whatever your question is, this is telling you yes to go for it. So if you are thinking about leaving a situation, this would be a yes. If you're thinking about and, you know, accepting a, a new offer, starting over a clean slate, maybe embarking on a journey with a new uh, person, but you're having a hard time trusting because of your past. Um, this is saying take action. Yes. This action that you're being guided to take is about movement forward. This is this movement forward is about detaching from the past, healing from it and taking um, a leap of faith towards your future and being um, being okay, not knowing how it's going to turn out per se, but also trusting that things will work out in your favor. 
So those are your messages for your bonus reading. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave me a comment, like the video, and please subscribe. I will go ahead and extend this video for you guys. And um, we're going to ask about your person in more details. So we're going to ask Spirit to tell us what this person's intentions are, how they feel about you and the connection. We're going to ask if this person's going to take action in the summertime for you guys. And if they do take action, what type of action they may take. Um, is there anything you need to be aware of? We're going to ask about blocks and obstacles, and then we're going to also ask about best possible outcomes for you guys. I thank you guys, and um, just look out for your extended video in the next 10 to 15, maybe 30 minutes. Um, I got to record it, and then it got to upload. So just keep checking the website, and I'll also post when it's available for you guys for renting. Thank y'all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.